What's going on everybody? Furious Pete back for another episode of Skip It or Eat It. Today, we're filming right here. Right here. It's called Church's, Church's Texas Chicken. I've heard nothing about it. Like, I mean nothing. I haven't looked online for reviews or anything. The reason, two reasons really, that I'm filming here is one, these spots have just popped up everywhere. I mean, there's lots of these locations all of a sudden, or at least maybe I was just hiding under a rock and then just realized. And two, it just gives me those good vibes and just, I don't know, gives me those homey feelings of going down to Texas and chilling with Matt from Demo Ranch. Just another reason to film here. So, Church's Chicken, here we go. Let's see what it's all about. <laughs> guys uh, I was worried that I would have to film in my car or something because um, the music's super loud here and being a chain I didn't know if they would be uh, able to turn off the music but they were nice enough to turn down the music for a few minutes so we can film here we don't want no trademark copyright you know good stuff with music happening right so what I ordered was just a two-piece combo simple we got some Texas fries which are Get a nice portion here. I feel like this whole environment right now is losing its vibe without the music. I feel bad. I gotta, I gotta really like speed it up here. What they had advertised was some super crunchy chicken, and apparently I, I got super crunchy chicken. They had two varieties: original and spicy. I got one of each naturally. Don't know what that sound is. Let's take a look at what we got. We got our church's chicken box. Let's have a look here, shall we? Open her up. Ooh, we even get a biscuit, which looks nice and buttery. We got what I think, I think this is the original, and this looks like the spicy, because you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, it looks like there's a little bit of spicy goodness inside there, and those are our fries. Now, Matt, if you're watching this, I don't know if this is this is the way Texas chicken is done, but this is the way they say it's done up here in Ontario, apparently. So we're gonna start off with the original chicken. I should point out that another reason why I'm eating here is because two really popular chains up here is KFC and Popeye's chicken. Not that I really venture off to those places too often. I feel like more people can relate to them and have a more of a chance of actually trying it if it's actually good. We're about to find out. We got the original. We got our spicy chicken. Here we go. Very greasy. Which I just was expected, seeing it's fried chicken. There's some crunch. Maybe I expected a little more crunch. It really lacks flavor, in my opinion. There really isn't a lot of flavor here. Not at all. Let me see what the spicy drumstick is all about. This definitely looks a lot more crunchy, a lot more battered. Let's see what, let's see if it has a lot more flavor. Hot. Hot. It's not overly spicy at all, in my opinion. In fact, barely spicy. Mm. It's definitely a lot better than that original. There's still something missing. It's got the spice, which is good. It gives me a little bit of, of some, some kind of flavor coming out, right? But the original just really lacked flavor. Got a biscuit that is extremely buttery. Mmm. That's quite good. That's like the highlight right now. A little sweet, very buttery, heavy. 
The spicy, definitely a lot better. I don't know if it's super crunchy. Overall, not super impressed. I'm gonna point out that I need some napkins. That's what I need to point out. For the whole meal, cost me um, 11 bucks with tax. So I got two pieces of chicken, I got fries, I got a drink, and I got a biscuit. Which isn't so bad. It's just lacking a lot of flavor. Not the fries. You know what these fries, these fries remind me of these frozen fries. Nothing, nothing spectacular whatsoever. Nothing spectacular at all. Reminds me of McCain frozen fries. Not enjoying them, to be honest. I'm not really enjoying anything here right now. So I was about to leave, and then the manager asked me, how did I like it? I was straight up honest. And then he said, you gotta try the, the sandwich. So he's making me a sandwich on the house because he wants to, I guess, win my uh, opinion here. So I hopefully, hopefully the sandwich um, changes my opinions. We'll see. I got, I got, I got, Push into a corner that I have to try the sandwich. One chance to redeem themselves. Let's see. This is their sandwich. Let's see. Boom. I asked for barbecue sauce instead of their spicy mayo. Top. Okay. Standard. We got a nice brioche bun. The chicken does look really good. It looks really crispy. But as we all know, looks can be deceiving. Mmm. Hot. Very fresh. It's definitely better than the... I mean, the chicken itself is definitely a lot crispier. Everyone's trying to make the best chicken sandwich nowadays, right? That's pretty good. It does have like just some processed cheese and some lettuce on top. I would have done the traditional pickles. Mm -hmm. We'll give our full review outside, but this isn't bad, but I'll tell you it's not great. I got some mixed feelings, some mixed emotions now after filming because like the manager ended up being super nice started explaining his product, or manager, and franchise owner, whoever he might be. Um, the guy that gave me a chicken sandwich to try and redeem himself. And the chicken itself is actually really good um, in, that, in that chicken sandwich. The rest of the components, maybe not so much. But then again, there's only so much you can expect from fast food fried chicken, right? This is not overly expensive. I mean, I did a review at Chicken Cartel, and that was definitely the best chicken sandwich I've ever had but it also costs $20. It's a very fancy chicken. Here, you know, I'm spending half of that and getting double the amount. It's a totally different kind of ball game. And then skip it or eat it, compared to like KFC and Popeyes, it's on par, right? Is it better? I don't know. I, I would say, I, I don't know. Um, I personally, because I think I have this high expectation for fried uh, chicken sandwiches that Chicken Cartel put me into. I would say a skip it. But if I want, if I'm in the mood for fried chicken, okay? The spicy chicken was good. The original chicken, no. I, I would never order that again, ever. And I don't recommend you guys order it. Um, spicy chicken, it was okay, it was good. <laughs> but, <laughs> As far as fast food, I just, I'm torn on this opinion right here. I would personally get it again if I wanted something on the on the level of KFC and Popeyes kind of thing. If I ever wanted a fried chicken like that. Other than that, I would skip it. I, I don't know if that's, that's a good review or if a good conclusion or not. I just, I, I feel like my heart I feel like I'm gonna break this this owner's heart because he's like, you're gonna give us a good review, right? You're gonna give us a good review. And he was being so nice and he was being, he wanted to really sell me on the product, but I'm not overly sold. You know what? 
I'm gonna put my foot down and I'm gonna say, <laughs> I don't know. Probably skip it. I think I have to just stick to my guns here. I think we're passing that line from eat it to skip it. So we're gonna be skipping it. Sorry, Church's Chicken. I don't know why I feel so bad right now, but I do. We'll catch you guys in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. But we're Team Furies. We're dedicated for life, D4L. And before I finish, if there's anything that you guys want in the apparel store, there's going to be discounts through Black Friday. Appreciate your support. And yes, I am finally going to work on some new merch because it has been way too long. Nevertheless, I appreciate all your support that you guys have given me. Continue watching and just keep giving me a chance. We'll catch you guys later. I'm Furious Pete. You guys stay sexy, stay hungry, and of course, get laid.